What is up, Nuggets? It's your boy, Killer Pizza, here with a brand new video for all you rascals and rap scallions out there. Now, anybody that's been following my channel for any amount of time would know that 80 slashers are my very favorite genre, subgenre of horror, but a very close second, which was my very number one favorite growing up as a kid, is the zombie movie. Nothing beats some zombies, George Romero zombies in particular. I bring this up because I was talking to a coworker of mine at my shoot job and he doesn't watch any movies from the 80s. He's kind of younger and that broke my heart. He doesn't watch 80s movies. But when we brought up zombie movies, he claimed he knew all the zombie movies and he knew a lot. It's a lot from the 70s and 80s too. So I told him, man, I should go home and see how many zombie Blu-rays I have in my collection, which is why we're here today. So uh, this is going to be a long video. I hope not. I'm going to try to make it quick. Uh, I think I have about 30 zombie flicks on Blu-ray, so let's try to get through this as quick as we can. First and foremost, Battery. Now, this is a movie I reviewed on my channel not too long ago. It's kind of an independent film, a fun little uh, story of, like, it's two guys traveling down the road trying to find civilization. One guy kind of wants to find a sense of normalism. The other guy wants to stay on the road like an outlaw. And then they have one of the best third acts I've seen in a very long time in a horror movie where they're trapped, isolated inside of the station wagon. It is some pretty good stuff. I would highly suggest checking that one out. Here's one a lot of people don't really like. You could also consider comedy a little bit, but it's in my horror section. That is The Dead Don't Die. Tons of actors were in this, and a lot of people didn't care for it, but Bill fucking Murray? Bill Murray alone in any movie is going to make the movie for me. And this was a pretty good one overall. I think a lot of people didn't like it because it broke the fourth wall, but I mean... It's a movie about The Walking Dead. Uh, you know, so it's like, I get like that sometimes too, where I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Oh, wait, I'm watching a movie about this. But, you know, people need to just not be so uptight and just enjoy it for what it is, because Bill Murray alone makes this movie worth it. This is a very, very fun movie. I'll show both of these. Another uh, example of comedy being horror, horror being comedy. Zombieland 1, Zombieland 2, Double Tap. I love these movies. I, I don't like the second as much as the first, obviously, but they are both really fun. I'll take nothing away from either of them. I love the entire cast. The movie flows very well. Woody Harrelson. Bill Murray, Woody Harrelson. Two really cool dudes right in a row. Now we have Zombie. This is probably the best Italian zombie movie ever made, which is saying a lot because there has been a lot of uh, zombie movies out of uh, Italy, a lot of horror movies for that matter, and this is The Master, Luigi Fulci. And uh, this is confusing a little bit because this is actually considered Zombie 2 in Europe because they originally took George Romero's Dawn of the Dead and made it into like their version of Zombie 1, which makes this Zombie 2. And that would make Zombie 3, Zombie 2 in America. Zombie 4 would be Zombie 3 in America. Dennis Edwards warned me that these sequels were terrible. They really were. Uh, they're not like that bad. I mean, a lot of these movies they say are bad could be a lot of fun if you had like friends over and watched them together, had some beers or whatnot. Whatever you do. But uh, I think there's the uh, fourth one, technically the fifth or however you want to see it, say it. That's out that I haven't picked up. But I think that one's all about like birds attacking and stuff. This is the problem like with uh, international distribution sometimes, copyright rights, or whatever the fuck it is. I'm not in the business like that. But, you know, you get a name, you get a big title, you can throw it on pretty much any movie. Like, we've seen that with, like, Hellraiser is a good example of that. Like, there ain't no good Hellraiser after the first two. They just pretty much made shitty movies and just got the rights to the name. And I think that's kind of where they went with these sequels. But I digress. You guys know I don't really like to talk too bad about horror movies on here all right blood lust of the dead with alexis texas this one sucked i wonder why i even bought it <laughs> then we have uh survival of the dead nice little holographic cover like those pokemon cards you kids be playing with this i believe is the fifth out of six of george romero's original zombie flicks night dawn day i believe it goes land survival diary so i pretty much have them all at this point i'll explain later nightmare city now uh i love my zombies to be slow i like i like the 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 psychology of like rigor mortis like your body you you shouldn't be able to move quick though return to living dead is like my favorite zombie movie and they run 
But I, I gotta say, I don't like how the zombies run in this movie. And I especially don't like how they can use weapons and everything. It's a fun little idea. This movie is a roller coaster, but I didn't care for it too much. The final act is pretty crazy. It's definitely worth watching, but not one of my favorites out of like the 30 I'm showing you guys, you know. Then we have City of the Living Dead, one of the most classic zombie movies out of Italy. Uh, lots of Italian zombie flicks in here. Italy makes the best horror movies right behind uh, America, and I would put Japan in number three. I don't remember much of this. It was pretty good. I remember a really violent scene where a guy gets like a drill on like a workbench through his head. That was pretty gory. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Flying through them, guys. Here's one I uh, reviewed on my channel previously. Revenge of the Living Dead Girls. Now, I must say, these masks on these zombie girls are so creepy. The scenes where they get out of the tombs are so good. This movie is pretty fucked up. It's all over the place. Uh, there's actually a scene at the end where... Three dead zombie girls get full frontal naked and stripped down to prostitute full frontal naked and rape her with a samurai sword. <laughs> yeah, so uh, check out the review if you want to hear more about that. It's fucked up. I don't like all that fucked up stuff sometimes. I'm pretty, like, mellow with some horror. I like good gore, but, like, shock factor. I'm not, like, the biggest shock factor guy, but sometimes as a horror fan, you gotta just check out the crazy shit, you know? So we have a good trio right here. We have one I just recently reviewed. My very favorite, as I mentioned before, Return of the Living Dead. This movie is everything it has to be. Good comedy, good acting, good music. Check out my review, or don't. Just buy this fucking movie, because it's well worth it. Arguably my favorite movie of all time. My favorite horror movie with The Thing coming up in a close second. Here is another one I reviewed recently on my channel, Return to Living Dead Part 2. A lot of people don't like this one as much because it's a little more comedy, but I grew up on this one as a kid. I love this one. It's very, very entertaining and very, very fun. Well worth it. Now here is the uh, bastard stepchild of the trilogy that is Return to Living Dead Part 3. Now I grew up watching this with my older sister. Uh, she liked the you Nooks know, had the girl in there, but this is kind of like a Romeo and Juliet kind of take on zombie films, if you can imagine that. And this movie gets a lot of flack for some reasons. Clearly not as good as the first two, but it's great. And I believe there's six, five or six movies in the Return of the Living Dead franchise at this point. I don't count any of them except for the top three. One through three, all of them are so good, and I highly recommend checking out any of those. Now we have Dawn of the Dead, the remake. You know, I had a big argument coming back on the road with uh, Tyler Dean from a wrestling show. Uh, he claims this one's better than the original, which I disagree, which that gives some sli this, bleh, I can't talk. I'm saying that kind of puts me in a bad place where like I'm arguing that because like Dawn of the Dead, the remake is actually really, really good. This is an amazing zombie movie, but when you compare it to the original, uh, just my heart won't let me do it. The original is better, which this brings up a good point. I do not have the original because I did not want to buy that uh, box set. Uh, I don't buy many movies from the UK or overseas and... I knew like uh, the discs work, but the special features didn't. I don't have a region free, free uh, player, so I skipped out for now. I'll get the original eventually. It's the only one I'm missing to complete my George Romero set. So now we have the combo uh, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, which I got uh, at a thrift store or something, I believe, for like a dollar or two, which uh hack for you guys out here. The case was all sticky and shit and shitty, but you can order brand new blu-ray cases off of amazon so that's exactly what i did and i put the slip cover in here and now it looks brand spanking new both of these are amazing made in michigan sam Remi, bruce campbell the fucking goats some of the goriest horror movies you'll ever see these are so much fun speaking of gory is the remake which i was so much of a hater on when this came out i was so mad this came out but it turns out the Remi brothers and Cam bruce campbell were producers on this, so it obviously had their approval, and this is kind of a guilty pr pleasure of mine. This movie is so gory, so fucked up. This is a fun one to put on when you have guests over. This is a fucked up movie. Uh, I mean, shit, all the Evil Dead movies. Aside from Army of Darkness, which I own, I have uh, like two copies on DVD for some reason, which is why I haven't upgraded to the Blu-ray. Then we have 
Land of the Dead, which is the fourth out of the Romero series. This one's pretty fun. Iconic character here. I don't remember his name. I know this is the one where they have like that whole safe zone set up. And the zombies start walking through the water. I'm going to have to rewatch this one because it's been a really long time. And I just noticed the fucking damage on this. Motherfuckers. But yeah, I'm going to have to check this one out soon again. Good movie. Sorry if I'm going quick with this. I'm just, I don't want this video to be 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, here, here's something interesting. Lust of the Dead. I've yet to watch any of these. This is the, uh, Trash Terror Trilogy. These are Japanese films about rape zombies. These zombies come back to life and they try to rape women and all these empowered women with machine guns and samurai swords have to fight back and kill all these zombies. You can see why I bought it and you can also see why I haven't watched it yet. All at the same time, if that makes sense. So, Lust of the Dead. All right, so one of my very, very favorites because of uh, Captain Rhodes, who's a fucking badass, Day of the Dead. Awesome artwork. I have a review of this as well on my channel, so I won't go too far into it. Yeah, easily one of the best. Top five for me in a zombie horror movie. This is at the tail end of like the zombie apocalypse, where there's literally like maybe ten people left in this military bomb shelter, and it's got all the... All, everyone fighting with each other and it kind of like a good example of like where the humans become more of the monsters than the zombies this is a really fun little twist and all-time classic and the gore at the end when Rhodes gets torn apart that's worth watching alone people let's see uh Shaun of the Dead another one that could be considered comedy this is one of the greatest movies of all time if satire is a thing like this nails it they, all the quick camera cuts like from Requiem from a Dream that they kind of do and just like the storyline behind the zombie apocalypse and the humor with it, the acting. This is just top notch. All time classic. We all know how good this one is. Love this movie. The last two. We have the original Night of the Living Dead. Now I got this. This is a pretty cheap copy. I really want to get that Criterion release of it because it is actually pretty cheap too. But, you know, I'm weird like that. I don't like rebuying too many movies when I already have them, but this is where it all started. George Romero's original zombie film. This is what should get all the credit. It's kind of like if you're a musician, you're going to study the greats. You know, you play guitar, you're going to listen to Buck Cherry. Or uh, Buck Cherry. Buck Cherry. No, that's not what I meant to say. Uh, God, uh, Chuck Berry. <laughs> Buck Cherry, Chuck Berry. Wow, what a difference between those two. But goddamn, well, sorry for that tangent, but my point is you have to respect history. You have to respect the classics, whether you're in acting, film, uh, music, pro wrestling, uh, marketing, like whatever you're going to do. Respect the ones that came before you and respect that this is an all-time classic, arguably the greatest of all time. Night Living Dead, George Romero, the GOAT. <laughs> Buck Cherry. Buck Cherry or Chuck Berry? <laughs> That reminds me, my friend was telling me the joke, like, when you're awkward in public, like, one please, burger cheese. <laughs> oh, we're talking zombies, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm fucking nuts. And I know it. And guess what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Here's my last one. The 1990 remake of Night of Living Dead by Tom Savini. Now, this is fun. The story goes, uh, the original Night of Living Dead was free revenue, so nobody, or uh, what, what do they call it, uh, free domain or whatever. So nobody in the original cast got paid for it. So I heard the backstory is Tom Savini wanted to make this so the OGs could get paid. This is one of the greatest horror movies ever made, one of the best zombie flicks. Tony Todd, and then uh, Barb is not like a cowering woman in this film. She's like the, the leader, she's the tough one. Oh, the soundtrack, the score, their version of Cooper in this movie. What a prick, man. This movie is so much fun. Not the goriest film. And I'm a gore guy. I don't like body horror in every film. But I like a little bit of splatter, you know, like the rest of us. This one doesn't even need it. It's so good. I highly suggest checking this one out. This is a home run, a grand slam. Knocked it right out of the park. And yeah, that was a... Uh, woo. Talk about about 30 zombie movies in about 12 minutes. With the intro, about 14. I did it, guys. <laughs> All right. But uh appreciate you guys watching. Uh, 
That was me ranting through my zombie flicks, which I intend on getting more. There's lots and lots of more getting uh, released all the time. That's the funnest part of collecting. I love when you hit like a wall where like you get a lot of the, like the essentials, a lot of the ones that are popular, and then you got to really start digging. You really got to start going on websites to find out the new releases and everything. That's just part of being a collector. And uh, yeah, I love collecting movies. I love collecting zombie movies or whatever. We all like watching horror here, uh, but let me know how many zombie flicks you guys have in your collection. I'm interested to know. Is there any I'm missing on Blu-ray? I have uh, others on DVD and VHS for that matter. But if I'm missing any you think I should have on Blu-ray, please let me know because I'm going all out on this shit. Uh, you know, like what the zombie saying, Return of Living Dead, uh, eating brains makes the pain go away. It's like, collecting zombie flicks makes my boredom go away. <laughs> no, I'm just playing with you guys. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I got some fun projects coming up, which I will keep you guys informed, or I will hit you with it as a surprise. As you can see with this channel, I have tons of consistency. Either way, throw a fucking horror movie in. Enjoy that shit. Blood, guts, gore. Check you guys next time.